folks, I'm Ian Baker, and today we're going to go over the 2020 Mallard M26. This is an awesome bunk model. You have the double over double bunks, rear bath on the off door side, right next to the super slide with both a dinette and a tri fold sofa. Let's start off on the camp side with the kitchen. One of the things I like about the kitchen is that you actually have pretty good prep space here thanks to both the sink top covers as well as the cooktop covers. So that way you can kind of pick and choose where you want your prep space to be. And if we remove those sink top covers, you will see these are cutting board quality, so you can absolutely use them as cutting boards. I always recommend using the bottom side of them. That way when you put them back, they still look nice in the top. You don't have a bunch of knife marks and dirt marks in there. You will also see that you have the high-rise pull-out faucet, which makes it a lot easier to wash and rinse dishes. You have the larger bowl on the left and the smaller bowl on the right, which in my opinion is the ideal setup. If we take a look right over to this side here, you will notice the three burner cooktop. Again, as I mentioned, that is recessed. The glass cover folds up and back just like so. Kind of gives you a double backsplash. You have the, the decorative one here, but this one is certainly easier to clean. You'll notice the three burners there. The knobs do light up, so if you like that effect, you can certainly turn that on. Also, you have the oven underneath if you want to do some baking. Underneath this sink, you have good storage, so there is enough space there for a trash can that we don't have to have a trash bag hanging out. And right around the corner, you'll also see two full extension ball bearing drawers. That way you have plenty of space for all of your flatware, or if you have any other larger utensils like spatulas, things like that, you can stick those in there as well. You'll also notice you have two controls here, one for your power awning, the other one for the slide. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this personally is it's a little low and I know my daughter, you know, being four would absolutely be pushing those. I wish they had put them up here on the side of the cabinet, but uh, for the time being, that is where they have them. If we take a look over here, right as soon as you walk in, you do have some storage. I do like this. Uh, you can absolutely use this for kitchen stuff. Personally, again, I would probably use it for shoes just because I hate having shoes kind of littering up my doorway so that way you can uh, throw some flip flops and stuff right in there. Finishing out the kitchen though, you'll see storage right up top, microwave here as well, and then of course your hood with the light and fan right underneath. And over to this side is the Dometic fridge freezer combo. This one does run off both propane and electric and of course has automatic switch over. Taller unit, or uh, cut out there for some taller items as well. Uh, one of the other things you will notice in the Mallard is the fact that you have the barreled ceiling here. So uh, it's a fully laminated roof and it gives you that extra kind of head space right here in the center. It does, doesn't feel like kind of like closed in or make you feel claustrophobic, which is great. Nice light color on here as well. Ducted AC throughout. You can see that you have two channels that run down there. So that way you get nice even cooling throughout the camper. Uh, over to this side, this right here is kind of a versatile storage space. So you'll see you have the hanging rod up top, removable shelves. So if you want to use this as a closet for the kids, you can. You can hang clothes there. You can fold clothes and use the shelves, or you can utilize this as pantry space. It all depends on what you need. And right underneath that is something that Mallard's been putting in their units for a while now, and I love this, and that is a central vac. Normally you only see a central vac in higher end fifth wheels, but they have one here in the travel trailer. Just plug the hose in, you can vac the cam camper up, keep it nice and clean, you don't have to bring an upright vacuum with you. The thermostat is mounted here, that will control both your ducted AC as well as your ducted heat. And in the back are your double over double rear corner bunks. Teddy bear bunk series on here, 200 pound weight capacity on the top bunk, 300 pound capacity on the bottom bunk. So if you have adult friends, you know, two adult friends that want to stay the night, I recommend putting them on the bottom bunk there. And then right underneath that, you have some additional storage, which can be a great spot for like a duffel bag full of clothes. Of course, you also have the privacy curtain so you can close that off at night. Uh, on the bathroom, I do like the doors that they use. It, it might be tough to pick up on camera, but there is a, a design in the door, which is pretty cool. Rather than just having a plain standard door, I like that they, you know, kind of gave it just a little nicer aesthetic uh, piece to it. And when we take a step back in the bathroom, you will actually see that it is quite large. So plenty of room to be able to maneuver back here. As far as the toilet, it is a foot flush lever toilet. You see I have plenty of leg room, great shoulder space here as well. Over to the side is that sink top. You will notice you have a mirrored medicine cabinet up there. So if you need to, you know, put some additional items in here, you can. You will also see your tank monitoring panel. 
Uh, you will notice that the, the water heater does run off both LP and electric. You can turn both those on at the same time for faster recovery. And then in the very back is the tub shower. So I'll stand in here, as you can see, I'm six foot. The skylight definitely provides a little extra height. So if you're you know, six two, you can probably stand in here without having to bend down. Hand wand does make showering a little bit easier. Even at six foot, if I stand outside the skylight, you know, I don't touch until we start getting right back here. So uh, as I said, that my skylight takes up the majority of the shower, so you should be fine at about six two. And then you will also see that the tub uh, is great because one, it has a higher threshold on there, so that way your curtain is less likely to come out and put water all over your floor. And if you have smaller kiddos that are, you know, stand in the bunks back here, if you want to give them a bath, you're able to do that. If it's just a shower, you don't have that capability. So I personally like the option to have the tub. If we take a look at the slide out, you will see the dinette. Um, the cool thing about this dinette, so a lot of people when they see this, right, they see like this style leg rather than like the pedestal leg. And it, they automatically think, oh, well, that's a cheaper table. Now, it, I will agree, I don't think it looks as nice, but I really like this table setup because it is very sturdy. Because while it does have one leg up front, it actually attaches right back here at the wall. And as you can see, this table hardly wobbles. So that way, you know, if you're putting pressure on here, you're playing cards, you're eating a meal, you don't have the table wobbling all over the place, which a lot of times those pedestal tables you will get. Uh, so I personally like this. And also, just like the pedestal tables, this will drop down into a bed. You can have an extra sleeping space here if you need. You just detach it from the wall, you fold the leg up, drop it down. You'll have cushions you toss on top for that additional sleeping space. You also see this nice light fixture right above, kind of takes a page out of the, the residential book there. Uh, kind of has like that farmhouse style that is extremely popular in the residential market. So they kind of try to bring uh, some of that element into the RV world. Big window by that dinette too, folks. Not just on the side of the slides, you do have windows on the sides, but also that, that whole space right there is a big window letting in a ton of natural light. Above the sofa, a little bit smaller window, but in lieu of that, they do give you additional storage. And because it is a uh, top opening door, it swings open. It's also strut supported for easy one hand operation. And there's a light back there, so it just kind of gives it that extra cool uh, aesthetic piece there at night. Right down underneath is the tri-fold sofa. So this is uh, quite comfortable to sit on. This will obviously probably be the main uh, place you sit just to kind of hang out. If you have a arm on your TV, you can angle that so you can have a kind of a good view from here to the TV as well. And because this is a tri-fold, it is a comfortable bed to sleep on too. You can see the cushion that guests will get to sleep on there, that just folds right down. And so that way you can have two additional adult guests sleep here. Uh, just so you know, I, I actually get this question uh, quite often. When the bed is extended, it does kind of cut off the camper, right? Like when it's completely out, it's pretty tough to be able to walk back. So just bear that in mind that if you need to get back to the bathroom or something, if you have guests stand here, it's going to be a little tough. And then kind of giving you a private bedroom space, helping to separate that bedroom from the main living area is your entertainment center. The cool thing about this, now I, I have the doors currently closed to the bedroom, but if the doors uh, or rather the doors are open, but if the doors are closed, this will actually spin all the way around so you can watch the TV in the bedroom, which I like. That way, you know, you don't have to buy two TVs. You're kind of uh, utilizing the same one. And the fact it is so large, so you can put a decent sized TV in here for your main living area. Attached to that is your multimedia center, which controls your speakers outside as well as in here. It is Bluetooth capable and that's a DVD player, so you're able to watch a movie. You'll see storage down below. You have some cubby holes as well as some storage in the center. Additional storage right up top here. Um, if we take a look at the doors, I'll actually open this one up just to kind of show you on camera because it's kind of cool. So again, just like the bathroom door, you'll see that this slider door has that same design right on there. And I like the fact that the Mallard actually used doors rather than curtains just because it, it seems a little more private at night, which I like. When we move up into the bedroom itself here, you will see the queen bed right there in the center. Uh, there is storage underneath. So if you need some larger items, you can store them right down there. You can see this bag with the hoses in it. That, of course, is for your central back. On both sides, you will have nightstands with cubby holes underneath and electrical outlets. So it gives you a place to charge your cell phones or plug in a CPAP machine if you sleep with a CPAP. Right up above that is your wardrobe. You can, and again, this one has the hanging rod. And then in between, you have storage up top and it has the doors. So that way, you know, some of your uh, items that you want to be able to store up here that you don't want showing, like your underwear, things like that, rather than just having a shelf, everything is enclosed. 
Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the 2020 Mallard M26. Right up front is two 20 pound propane tanks with the cover. That way it helps hide those unsightly tanks. Right behind that, you will see rails for your battery. And on the far side, you will also see solar prep. So if you want solar, simply buy the portable panels, plug it in right there. It's pre-wired and it will trickle charge your battery. You'll also notice this. This is a fully enclosed, insulated and heated underbelly. So that'll help keep out road grime as well as hopefully some of the critters and rodents in the off season. And in the colder climate, as long as you have the furnace running, it will be blowing forced air down into that underbelly, helping to prevent your tanks and lines and stuff from freezing up on you. Coming up the front is diamond plating, helping to protect that front end from rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. And directly above that is the gorgeous front cap. One of the things I love about the Mallard is the fact that it actually has a true front cap on here. As you can see, the cap rolls around to the side. A lot of manufacturers use what they call a three quarter front cap where the seam is right here on the edge. And while that is still great because it cleans up easier, the nice thing about this is it adds a some insulation values. It's adding an air barrier in there. More importantly, though, is the fact that because it wraps around to the side, there's less chance for water penetration. As you're going down the road on a rainy day, as you know, all the water is hitting the front of the camper. And when that seam is right there, it's going to try to work its way in. But when the front cap rolls around, the water would have to come in through the back and then back around the cap and into the front end, which just isn't going to happen. So uh, I personally love having a front cap on a travel trailer. So we take a look at the side itself. This is obviously is a fully laminated travel trailer. You have a actual two inch thick wall on here, aluminum structure. The pass through storage has a covered hinge. So you don't have a bunch of rust coming down the door. It is a slam latch just like so. Nice heavy duty slam latch uses metal components. You can feel the weight in the door itself and it's also magnetic so you can put it up just like so. When we do take a look inside that pass through, you'll notice the opposite side has a little bit smaller door, but that's okay because chances are you'll be getting most of your stuff on the campsite here. And this one has a massive door for your larger items like your grill, uh, you know, some of your chairs, things like that. You'll also notice right over to the side, well, there is an LED light in there, a couple of them actually. But right here is your power stabilizer jack. So the one control will operate the front two, the other control will operate the rear two. Bear in mind that's not going to be leveling. You still want to you know, level your trailer out on your campsite using blocks. But for stabilizing the, the RV, once you have it leveled out, you can use those. Those jacks go down and that way you, your uh, RV won't be rocking around as you're walking around inside. It does make setting up a lot easier. You'll see the power awning on this camper. Touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go back in. LED light strip on there, of course, too. A couple outside speakers so you can listen to music out here, but those are controlled to that, by that multimedia center inside. The Moride Step Above Step System is a great step system, very solid. Uh, I'm over 200 pounds. You can see I can walk up and down here, kind of hop on it. The steps hardly flex. You have the uh, aluminum treads on there as well, so that way you don't have any rust. Also the grip tape, that way if it's wet, you have some additional traction. Uh, I personally would wish that the grab handle is just a little bit bigger. While this does work, you know, you kind of almost have to be to the side, in my opinion, to grab it. Otherwise, in the first step, it's kind of a reach. Um, but other than that, you know, I definitely do love these steps. And of course, when you're done with them, they do just fold right up into the doorway nice and easily. Making my back a tiny bit further here. Electrical outlet outside, if you need to plug anything in, that'll be the place to do it. If you're going somewhere you don't have city water, you want to fill your fresh tank and that will be the inlet for that. Dropping right down below, aluminum alloy wheels, which just like those treads, because they're aluminum, aren't going to rust. They'll stay looking gorgeous for years to come. And you'll also see that they are a little bit further apart. It's a widespread axle system. Uh, the Mallard calls it wide track suspension or Heartland does, uh, but essentially it's, it's a widespread axle. And the reason that's nice is because when you're going down the road, it helps eliminate or not eliminate, reduce a lot of the sway as it's uh, as you're pulling. So it will tow better than a lot of other travel trailers out there. And then right here in the back is the, out, the outdoor party center, as they call it, which more or less is an outside kitchen. But again, just like the front storage compartment, you have a covered hinge, slam latch, and it's magnetic. And when we take a look, you'll see it's basically got everything you need. You have a sink, you have prep space, TV hookup back here. 
two burner cooktop, so if you do want to do a little bit of cooking, you have the capability to do that. You also have a mini fridge, so that way you can put some beverages, condiments, things like that there. Now, you'll see that this one, the uh, cooktop, you just take that cord, you know, that hose, you plug it into that quick connect right down there, and that of course will feed off your two 20 pound bottles up front. Folks, if you have your own grill or something you want to bring, absolutely take your grill, you can plug that in there too. But something I always tell people is if you're using you know, your own portable grill, a lot of times that grill will have a regulator on it. It's the gas is already regulated at the tanks up front, so you're going to double regulate. So you want to take that regulator off. That way it's not uh, dropping the, the gas twice, and that way you can actually get a good flame on that grill. On the very back, square tubular bumper with end caps. That gives you a convenient spot in which you can store that sewer hose. Mounted to that is your spare tire. Folks, this is probably one of the easiest places to access it. You don't have to get down on your hands and knees or under the camper to get it to spare. Outside shower with hot and cold water access on the back. A lot of times this is on the off door side. Uh, I prefer to have it either on the door side or even better in my opinion is right back here. The reason being that way, you know, my campsite's not getting wet. I can use it and spray off my feet or if I need water access, I can use it right back here. And it's much easier to get to on the back of your camper than on the off door side. Uh, right up top is your backup camera prep. So if you want a backup camera, having that prep makes it easier to have it installed, meaning it will save you money on labor. Last couple things I want to touch on, folks, are right back here. You will see your city water inlet, cable inlet, black tank flush, so you don't have to stick a hose down your toilet to wash out your black tank. You just hook it up right there. And then your 30 amp detachable power cord will plug in there. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2020 Mallard M26. If you're interested in this gorgeous family bunk model and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.